Hello and welcome back to the program. I am once again your host, Joe, and today we are going to not make the same mistake we just made. You guys can park there. If Goldark wants to go all the way back over there, I'm gonna let him. You know why I'm gonna let him? I am going to let him because, quite frankly, I got stuck before. No, actually, no. Okay, I'll chase him down, I just won't head down. I will get everybody else out of the way. Get out the way. And you also are getting out of the way. Absolutely friggin' ridiculous. The things I do to make progress in this game. Leon, you're in charge. I th think that's basically part of your kingdom as it is anyway. And I'm going to keep everybody else out of the way. For reasons. That should... yeah! Okay, Cal's army encountered the enemy. Okay, what I can do... is... come back to... I've done the thing... okay... We will fight now. It'll plan out pretty much just the same way it did before. What I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna make everybody... I'm gonna put everybody into the castle. And I'm going to send Goldar off on his own solo trip. And then I will have Mikhail lead Katmando on a wild goose chase all across the damn world while Goldar crosses the fucking continent. This game makes me do strange things. big chunk of guys. He'll use Holy Explosion, which will hit nobody, because none of my soldiers are in the middle. He's got one dude left. That's fine. Hit him with Sonic Boom, because I can. Then I'll save the Dragon Cross, you know, to finish him off, because it looks cool. <coughs> I should have gotten water after doing Goldark's voice before, but I didn't. I'm gonna have to do it again. God, he attacks so slowly. 
Here we go. Witness my power. Power of the dragon. As I hit you with the dragon cross, here we are, dragon cross. Uh, how can this be? I am dishonored. You have been training, Mikal. Uh, you've won. Goldark, hurrah, Mikal is victorious. Good work. Oh, uh, well, we're being defeated by you. And you got up, Goldark. Let me help you. Huh? What? The Crest of the Star Dragon. Crest of the Star Dragon. The Dark God Madrak rises from Dank Prison, and only the, uh, 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 only the stickiest of the Icky will stop him. How? How can I be one of the Chosen? I do not know how, I only know that you are. We cannot be enemies, Goldark. You are part of our company in our fight against Madruk. We need you to defeat Madruk and save Legendra. We've won the battle! Surprisingly, Goldark turned out to be one of the good guys! Okay. Goldark, you are in for a long walk, my friend. I need to pause. Okay. Good hair squad, get in there. Felicia, get in there. Uh, everybody else, yeah, you can get, you can go back to your castles. I don't have any intention on bringing Katmando over there. That said, everybody down here's gotta get out the way. He's got no soldiers. I probably could have given him some soldiers. Head down there! And we're off to the races. Okay, you can have your castle back. You guys can have this one, and take Neil with you, I guess. Nobody likes Neil, he gets his own unit all to himself. Maybe I should try to uh, gain some ground on Katmando like I did with Goldark. Yep, castle's leveled up. Uh, give Goldark some soldiers. Um, he needs more than that. Ghoulin, give him your soldiers. Ramda, bring your soldiers back to life and give them to him. I don't know what's going on with these zombies, brother, but they sure do fill my ranks pretty well.
tell Galarak to go there, because I'm sure that way is faster. It's probably faster, at least, I'm assuming. I'll be honest. Caban is leveled up, that's great. I do not have whole seconds here. Goldark is in a race against time. No, you know what? No, we're not abandoning the castle. We're gonna let Mikal fill up his soldiers. Before we do that. Here you go. Oh, and we'll switch him back to cavalry, I guess. It would be very nice if I could bait Katmando into fighting uh, Xanon and his soldiers, because I don't know what would happen there. I know I have seen gameplays where Katmando was just left to go wander, and uh, you know certain big-time forces were left on the map for him to deal with. Domestic affairs beckon. That's great. That's fantastic. You know what? I am going to save now. Because I... This is manageable. This is doable. I can handle this. And if I find I can't later on, I do have a save on my action replay. So here's the thing about the Sega Saturn. Oh wait, I only have the one captive now. Gunner, there's nobody else. I run it all. Just open the door, just let him out. Just say, hey, you can leave. You can leave. It's, it's, it's fine. You don't have to join me. You can just leave. Couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything. Maybe I should put Sierra and Vlad back in the same castle. I think I intended to do that at one point, and then I kind of forgot. Hope he doesn't mind not spending too much time with his wife. Drat not again. Oh, Talon, your uncle's working for me now. Oh, Soldier Crest. Oh, thank you, Viper. Thank you so much for teaching me how to use soldiers. One of the least useful troop types in the game. Tempest was taken. Huh. Well, that's different. Nothing. Terrace finds nothing. coin very nice yeah so here's the thing sega saturn all right a single dragon force save file will eat the entire sega saturn memory block honor crest wow bartle actually found something like you can have one dragon force save that's it can we wait all right i was gonna see if that works for ninjas um yeah, so, like, if you don't have a memory card, which I do have, and an action replay, which I do have, then you can only have the one save ever. Unfortunately, the memory card does not work. Uh, which company manufactured this piece of crap? Interact. Oh, it's been a while since I saw their logo. 
Yeah, so when the memory card I realized did not work, I was like, can I get an action replay, I wonder? And, uh, yeah. I was able to get one. Thank God. Uh, so I've got that hooked up here. And I'm curious if it'll let me play... Less than legitimate games? Okay, here's the th here's the deal. Sega Saturn games are no longer being manufactured. Um, so they have gone up in price because many of them are collector's items. Um, Dragon Force. If I was to try to find Dragon Force on Amazon right now, in fact, let's Google that. Amazon, Dragon Force, Sega Saturn. Okay. So these are Canadian prices, of course. Okay. Working design, super dear. <laughs> there is an option, there is one for sale. Game disc only. You don't get the manual. Disc is in good working condition. Five hundred dollars. And there's another one going that includes the box, the manual, and the game disc. Some general wear to the contents, but overall in good condition. Which is basically what I have. And this person's selling that for a thousand dollars, pretty much. Nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. So, if I was, you know, if I didn't buy this back in the day when it was still relatively cheap, I would be absolutely shit out of luck. Because the Sega Saturn has never been properly emulated. Uh, and there, there is a PS2 port, but it's very hard to find. The PS2 port, of course, is, uh, on, um, one of the Sega Ages collections, apparently. Please, somebody just re-release this game for a modern console, or the PC, or something. There's no reason it has to be like this. Yeah, if I want... There, there's a couple of other games I would love to have for the Sega Saturn. Unfortunately, prices make it a little bit... Not gonna happen. Uh, I do have... There was like an old World War II simulator game that I played back in the day called Iron Storm. I have that. It did not hold up. Dragon Force holds up. This is still a great game. Iron Storm, not very good. Um, where's a ninja? Uh, you're a ninja. You, you can use the Camway Blade. Alright, there you go. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on a copy of Albert Odyssey, but that is going to be just as expensive, and so that's not going to happen. Just, I am afraid, no, not gonna happen. Distribute some items, because why not while I'm here?
Oh, you have the moon cane. That's good. That's a good item. You can keep that moon cane. Um... I want to give somebody the Tempest that I found. Who is a good candidate to see if the Tempest is any good? Goldark, you have nothing? Fuck, you have nothing. Did he just say I don't need to say thank you? What a bastard. Can you use this Tempest thing? No, you can't even use this Tempest thing. Tsugal, what good are you? You? No, you can't. Gives defense? Sure. Thank you. Okay, well, who can I give that to, then? Uh, probably... Neil. There you go. Equip some other troops. Ah, good enough. Let's hit that save. Okay. But yeah, here's the weirdest part about the whole save thing here, is that, like, you need to have... You need to have a gameplay that is beating the game. You need to beat the game and have that save in order to play as either Reinhardt or Goldark, legitimately. You can use the debug mode to activate them, I think, but otherwise, you're out of luck. But the game only has room for one save, so you need to, like, beat the game and then save over your previous playthrough. It's not a great time. That's a good place to leave off for now. Thank you for tuning in. I have once again been your host, Joe, and I will see you next time.